Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today is a very exciting day. The much anticipated Olive 0.2 release is coming very soon. Now, we can actually go over here on the olivevideoeditor.org website, and under the About 0.2 section, there's some information about what the new version of Olive is going to be able to do. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of this, it even gives you a way to try it out for yourself. So the stable release is not out yet, but I've been really excited to try out the new version of Olive. I've been waiting for this for a little bit of time. So I'm going to go over here to this download link and I'm going to install it on my computer to see if I can see what the experimental alpha build of it looks like. So I'm gonna click on download Olive 2 and then I'm going to go to the Linux distributions. And now that's downloading an app image over here in my browser. So once that's done downloading, we'll click on that. Okay, that's done downloading. So that didn't run automatically by clicking out. Let's go over here to our download section. We have our app image here. So I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm gonna make sure that it's executable first. So I can go into that same folder by going into downloads. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And if I list the files in here, you'll see this all of app image. So we're going to do a change mod and I'm going to add the executable to the olive app image, and then I'm just going to run olive like this. Great, so that started up a new program. Now this is the new version of olive, so this is different than the older version. So you can see here, we have this new version, alpha version installed right here. We have a different version right here, and you can just see the differences if I open this up. So this is the older version of olive, it looks like this. The newer version looks slightly different over here like this. So now we can get started with this. It looks like we can import new clips over here. So I can press the import option. And then on my computer, I can go to my desktop for instance, and I can pull in a video clip, something like this. And then I can drag that over to a timeline and we'll do an automatic sequence. And then we can play it like this. I'm assuming a lot of the commands are the same, so I can probably still do a control K to cut. That's great. Control, control K. You can highlight and shift delete to ripple delete. So that did work, but it looked like it almost crashed the program to, to do that. I assume effects are a similar thing. So one big difference is this node editor here. So this is a powerful way for creating individual effects that you could then share with other people. And it gives you this visual editor for doing something like that. Now it looks like at the moment when I try to do too much, it, the program gets on the verge of crashing, it looks like now. But that's to be expected since this is not a stable release yet, which is something to note if you're gonna try this out on your own. And also the effects editor looks different. So we have this parameter editor now. So we have things like our volume. It looks like we could probably keyframe our volume in here. You can reorder your windows just like you did before. So you can grab panels and put them different places. So it looks like if you're going to add new effects, this would be the way to do it. So you could come here and you could add new things like a blur filter. And then I could click and add that. And now over here in my parameter editor, we have the ability to edit that blur. Now my computer's having a little trouble handling this. It actually keeps freezing on me. So I might check back in on this alpha release in a little bit of time, maybe when some more updates have been rolled out. Uh, it's really cool looking and I'm excited about the promise of some of the stuff that this will be able to do, but it looks like it needs a little more work in order to be ready for production use. If you're interested in seeing progress on Olive, definitely go to their GitHub page and take a look there and open issues if you see them. And of course, check back in on this channel because we'll keep following up on this project to see where it goes in the near future. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.